So let's say you're heading home after a long day at work and suddenly you become an innocent bystander of a high-speed chase. What should you do? Well, Oscar Margain spoke to one victim who took action and plans on moving forward to put an end to pursuits in our area. Oscar, good evening. Thank you. And the victim's family is demanding answers with hopes to put an end to these type of police pursuits. These images reveal how a high-speed chase ended Tuesday night in Mission. The driver of this red Dodge pickup tried to flee from authorities after being pulled over in La Jolla. Multiple police agencies followed the suspect eastbound on Expressway 83 until the Inspiration Road intersection where he crashed into a black Jeep. The impact was so hard that the front uh, left tire completely went out, broke off, uh, including the rim. It only left the brake pads, which caused it to uh, slow down, then it hit another car, a white car that was uh, legally turning. The truck then stopped just in front of a taco stand where a group of people were having dinner. Fortunately, no one lost their life, but the incident did cause injuries. She went down to the store, and uh, on, our, on her way back to the house, she called me and, uh, and said that she was involved in an accident. That's when Raul Garza left to attend to his wife, who was driving the white vehicle. He wished to know what prompted the collision. At that point, it's obvious that these guys were were, you know, really chasing somebody because they were policemen from La Jolla. Officers detained the driver and found bundles of narcotics in his truck, drugs that Garza believed were the focus of the investigation. Taking picture of them, taking, removing these this packages away from the truck. You know, is that the important thing right here? Are we forgetting about the safety of our public? Chases seem to be a double-edged sword and take place more often than not. Just three weeks ago, a chase initiated in La Grulla ended in the same intersection. That is one reason why Garza came to the offices of State Representative Sergio Munoz to demand action. Because of the increase of these pursuits that we've seen here, uh, we need to work uh, with our local agencies and to see you know, what are the policies and procedures that are in place uh, that we can prevent these from happening uh, and also minimize the damage that they can cause because they put a lot of people in danger, a lot of people at risk. Munoz also hopes he can soon meet with the heads of local and state law enforcement to discuss solutions to the problem. Reporting for Fox 2 News, I'm Oscar Morgan. Back to you, Antonio.